Zach Williams and Dolly Parton. So excited to be talking to both of you. And Zach, I'm going to start with you. I got to ask, after the initial shock wore off that Dolly Parton was going to record this duet with you, any nerves, any like jitteries going on because of that? There were nerves um, up until the the first day that we met. And then (laughs) she, she just has a way of making you feel so comfortable. So Oh. You know, we spent about four hours in the studio working on uh, this song, and by the time we left, you kind of feel like family. She's just got that thing about her. Yeah, She's really good at making you feel like you're the only person in the room, and um, yeah, you know, it's obvious that there's a reason why she's been doing this for as long as she has. Yeah, you know, and, and you just treat people the way you want to be treated, and never forget mm-hmm. where you come from. And I, and I felt that, you know, so it was great. Well, speaking of never forgetting where you come from, um, Dolly, I, I had a hunch that someone as authentic and confident and optimistic as you came from a place of deep faith. And that, that started with your great granddaddy? It started with my granddaddy, not my great granddaddy. Okay, my granddaddy. granddaddy. Jake Owens was a, was a Pentecostal preacher, Assembly of God, you know, Holy Rollers, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I grew up in that church, you know, where you were free to, you know, to express yourself however you did and, and loving Jesus, loving God. And so all of my life and my mother was very, very religious and spiritual. So that was just always part of us all of our lives. So Jesus was no stranger to me. I learned early that Jesus loves me, one of the first songs I ever learned. And so, uh, yeah, I've carried that faith and that base with me forever. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm not ashamed of my people and I'm not ashamed of my Savior. That's awesome. Well, I, I, I love having you on our radio station now with this song, Only Jesus with Zach Williams. And I got to ask both of you, and maybe I'll start with you, Zach, since you wrote the song. Uh, when you're singing a song like that and you guys just released the video, which we want to talk about, which is so beautiful. Um, does a certain personal story or trial go through your head or maybe someone you love that went through something tough? Like you've sung the song over and over. What's going through your head during well, it? it? It's definitely a personal story for myself. Um, you know, most, most everything that I write comes from some season of life or some struggle that I've been through. And, and this one was no different. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about my past and the, you know, 20, 30 years of just journey that it's taken to get to where we are. And there was a, a number of years of my life, even, you know, I grew up very similar to Dolly. My dad was a worship leader. I, I grew up in church. I grew up in a non-denominational, you know, borderline assembly of God. So it was a very spiritual church just like that. But there was a time from about 17, 18 years old until I was about 33 that I just kind of ran from my, you know, everything, you know, I, I felt a, a calling on my life at an early age and, and I ran from that, trying to figure myself out. And then, you know, here we are now, and I can look back and see, man, God was doing something special in all those moments that I didn't even see. He was keeping me away from these things and safe from, you know, some of the places that I was at. And so when I sing that song, I'm singing, I mean, it's real to me. Like every time I sing it, you know, it's it's almost like, you know, um, opening up a new wound, you know. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of songs that I sing whenever I'm out live that just, it's hard to get through sometimes because I live that, you know? And so for me, it's a special song. Um, and I feel like, you know, Dolly added so much to it, you know, by bringing her voice in on that song. It's just, it's, it's amazing to, to have this out now and I'm so proud of it. So. Yeah. It's, it's so beautiful. It's touching so many lives. And Dolly, when you sing that song, only Jesus, do you have the same kind of feelings as Zach has some personal, some thinking about loved ones that went through trials that, they didn't realize God was there all along. Absolutely. Well, I was totally related to the song from my own personal standpoint, things I've gone through in my life. That's a wonderful thing about God gifting people to write songs, because even if people can't write their own feelings, there are people like Zach or me that are able to write to express not only your feelings, but feelings for other people. So when I sing that song, I totally, that's one of the reasons I sang it with such conviction, because I felt it through and through. It's one of the most beautifully written songs I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, I relate it to me and to other people in my life that I know and love. Yeah. Well, I wanted to, uh, on a personal level, I realize there's something you and I have in common, Dolly. Uh, We both are madly in love with our husbands. And we both, even though God didn't give us biological children, we love being an aunt. So I was wondering, have you been able to see any of the nieces and nephews or the grands since the pandemic started? Or has that been kind of hard to visit? 
It's been harder, but I have seen a few of them. Those that are really, really confined and are being safe and and really, uh, you know, doing all the right things. Not as much as I'd like to, because usually we like to have swimming parties and birthday parties and celebrate this or celebrate that or just be with them. But uh, I'm in touch with them, and I get to see some of them now and then. But we're always safe. Yes, that's so smart. And Zach, you and your wife, you homeschool your kids. Yeah. I heard you hung out at the beach for a little while. Has there been any chance for even one date night since this all started back in March? Or has it just been nonstop? Yeah, we, we've got a girl that comes over and watches our kids quite a bit for us. And so we, uh, oh, we had good. there a few weeks back down in Nashville. And, you know, but I like to cook. So I cook a lot at home. And so, and my kids love to help. So it's, you know, I feel like, we have date nights a lot of times, you know, we'll, we'll be cooking something on the grill or making a meal together. And, uh, but yeah, you know, we, I'm honestly, we, I've been home more this year than I have probably in the last five or six. And, uh, I think she's probably ready for me to get on the road. If, if she, if she was being honest, <laughs> I'm sure she is. I'm sure you're ready to get on the road. That's the thing about this whole pandemic. Those of us that are just used to being free and getting out there and do what we're supposed to do. We can't do that. Yeah. So we're really learning a lot about ourselves and about, about uh, responsibility and about patience and about tolerance and all sorts of things we're individually learning. And maybe God has got his greater purpose for all this. And I like to think so, but it's great with the families have been able to get together more than they would. Would. But yeah. I'm sure they'll be glad to get you out of the house, Zach, and you'll be glad to go. <laughs> I won't force her back. She, she starts next week, and uh, I'm just a, I'm an interruption because the kids just hang out when I'm home. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for some – I'm ready to go play some music. I'm not wired to kind of sit around and, and do nothing. Yeah, yeah well, I have an idea for both of you. See what you think of this, and you can put it in the suggestion box. So we love Only Jesus. We love the new video that just came out. But what do you think? Okay, so you did a Zach song. What if the two of you do a remake of Clear Blue Morning together? Oh, well, I would love that. That's my song, Zach, in case yeah. you don't know. Do it's know. Mine. And There Was Jesus is the correct title of our, our song together. There yeah. was Jesus. Not only Jesus. Just didn't want our listeners to <laughs> think to they Thank were for another song. Yeah. But anyway, I would love to have Zach sing on anything of mine. But even if it's not one that's already been out, I've been thinking I'd love to write something with him at some point and maybe do something together because I think our voices are perfect together. I would love to write a song with you, Dolly. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, let's See, do it. We're going to keep you you too busy for the whole rest of the pandemic. So there you go. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Instead of complaining, Zach, get your butt in the bedroom and write another song. As good as there was Jesus. And I'll sing on it with you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Dolly Parton, Zach Williams. We'll continue loving. There was Jesus. And uh, thank you so much for your time today and for just being such an encouragement to our listeners. We appreciate you both. We appreciate you. And thank you very much. See ya.